many of our Garden Time viewers have been going to our website and asking, what should I be doing for fall in our gardens? And you know, we've been working so hard to get our garden so beautiful. Don't be in such a hurry to cut everything down and, and really kind of strip it for the fall and winter. You know, there's still some really nice weather coming up, so enjoy. It's really true. Now, if you do want to do some pruning, there's a couple little hints you can go with now. A lot of plants that have beautiful blooms usually turn into something like this. Now, you can leave it on the plant as a food for insects and for birds and stuff, or you can leave it on just as structurally, but if you do want to take it off, it's okay to go ahead and prune it back. Now, you don't want to prune anything all the way to the ground just yet because of that nice weather that's still going to happen because then you'll force a lot of new growth and that stuff will even actually weaken the plant when the first frost and freezes hit. Another big question is about roses. Now, you know, roses are one that really will set a lot of growth between now and December. So you really only want to cut off just, you know, some of the blooms that might be fading a little bit. Just do a little hand selective pruning and wait until nature takes care of that pruning first and then you can go in and do all your, uh, your winter preparations. And a lot of people are asking about trees. How do I prune trees? When do I prune trees? Generally speaking, you prune trees when the leaves drop off. And then you can see the limbs, you can see the structures where they crossed and stuff like that. However, what about the limbs that are dead right now? So as I look up into this cleridendron, well I see right here is a limb that looks pretty dead. So I can go in and prune that out and that way I know that when the leaves do fall off, I'll be able to come in and prune this tree to shape and know that I'm not cutting off anything that's alive, or I mean only the things that need to be pruned off because the dead stuff, you won't be able to tell it once the leaves have dropped. Now another big thing that happens in the fall is quite often we're tired of watering through the <laughs> summer and we forget fall still needs some watering issues. It does. Sometimes those rains don't start exactly when we want them to and we're doing a lot of fall planting. You know, it's a great time to plant so make sure you water in those new plants. It's also a good time to get everything really nice and hydrated. You want to make sure that the beds are nice and soaked because sometimes Mother Nature doesn't turn on that faucet. Another place to really remember where to water is under trees or in the, under your eaves because you know the rains don't get there and it's a really bad dry spot and your plants can actually get a lot of winter damage so make sure you water those areas. In the winter time too we start getting cold and it's not raining you want to make sure that you water because you want to make sure the plants have a lot of water in their cells so that they stay as nice and healthy as they can during the cold weather. Judy I think there's a couple other things that we want to show them so let's go out back shall we? All right. The nighttime temperatures have gone down below 50 degrees, so it's the time to bring in those house plants that have been out all summertime. Make sure you wash them up so that you don't bring insects into the house and put some systemic in the soil to help with that insect control. And you know, Judy, what easier way to get great mm -hmm. spring color than to plant fall bulbs now? And the independent garden centers are chocked full of a great selection of bulbs. And you know, they're so easy now because the instructions are right on the back. Mm -hmm. It's easy, easy, easy to do. Go to gardentime.tv if you have any other questions or want some more great tips for what you can do in your fall garden.